welcome to my channel julian here if you're new welcome click on the subscribe button and then the bell so you don't miss any uploads and if you're a returning subscriber go ahead give this video a good like because today we're going to be making logos and labels now making logos and labels is something that almost everyone has trouble doing so this is my logo this is an example of a logo this is my logo your logo and your label work hand in hand to promote your brand your logo is basically your identity and your label contains everything about your product which is your net weight the name of your product the scent of your product and where it was made so if you want to know how to make your own labels and logo then keep watching this video because i'm going to show you how to do that using avery and using canva but if you don't have the time to make it yourself and would like a professional to do it for you i've linked someone down below in the description contact him he's amazing he did my fabulous logo and he does my labels but i'm going to be Showing you how to do it on Avery because I use Avery to create my label sometimes when I want to be creative so guys let's get straight into making logos and labels so guys this is Canva the link to this is in the description below so I'm going to be making the logo on Canva then I'm going to take the logo onto Avery and create the label so on that template what you want to do is click on that template and go on that business and then click logo on that business it's going to bring you right to this page here with lots of templates to choose from you can pick on any template and edit it change the shape color font whatever but i want to create a logo with a blank sheet so i'm going to go ahead and create a blank logo so this space right here is our workspace and this is my blank logo i'm going to call this candle company candles on the run so i'm just going to go to text and i'm going to add a text there i'm going to go to styles because i like the fonts in styles and i'm going to pick on one here I think I like this one that looks like it's running so let's click on that one so next thing I want to do is go ahead and edit the heading and subheading and put in the name of my company which is candles on the run So I think I like how it looks, but I'm not liking this font. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it the same font as. That looks better. So I'm going to reduce the font right here. And if you're wondering how I'm able to reduce just this font and not this one, you can go ahead and just copy this and then reduce and you can do the same for this as well that looks good to me and yes that looks fine so you can change the color of your font by clicking on the text color up here so i can do pink red green i think i'm going to do pink i like the way pink is looking you can change the background color to anything you want as well and there's more colors over here by clicking here you can just play around with it and change the colors but i prefer to save my logo in a transparent background so i can just take my logo and place it on any background without having the color or background distract it or make it look off so for this one i'm going to be saving it without the background so let's just go ahead and leave the background as white and then i would like to see an element like i would like a candle so i'm just going to go to elements and i'm going to click on candle and i want the candle to look like it's melting so it matches with candles on the run i hope i find something let's keep searching I like this one this looks good we're going to bring our candles here 
I'll bring this guy over here. And send backward. So this is how the logo is basically going to be. So every time you see this logo, you know it is candles on the run. But I'm just going to go ahead and reduce that font a little so that it looks more um, and reduce the size of this candle. There. I think it's perfect now so I'm going to save this in a transparent background what I want to do is go to download and then go down to transparent background and then download this file so let's see what our file looks like beautiful no background so I can just take my candles on the run and just place it anywhere perfect so the next thing you want to do is go on to Avery to create the label so right now I'm on avery.com the link is also in the description below click on that link to arrive here and begin creating your labels you can click on blank labels to get just the um, shape of the label you want cut out already for you and then you can just print it out at home on your own printer design and print on your own label sheet or you can go ahead and design your own label right online here and have it printed and cut out for you so let's get to designing ours we don't want blank labels we want custom printed labels so i'm going to click on that right now we're here and i'm going to click on go to labels so here we have different shapes and sizes but I'm going to go with the square. The square looks fine for what I'm aiming at. Sheet labels, roll labels, or cut stickers. I don't want it in roll because that's just way too much. And I don't want cut stickers because I'm not trying to just stick on only one label. So I'm going with sheet labels. And I have chosen square shape. Rounded edge, rounded corner. I don't want scallop corner. I want the rounded corner. And I'm going to go with three inches for this size and make sure that you measure your jar and where you want to place your label before you click on the size you don't want to print out the wrong size okay so for the material which is the type of paper do you want matte white glossy white white film clear film silver metallic craft brown or removable white vanilla film so I am going with craft brown paper and i've chosen 12 labels which is two sheets this is the cost with a four dollar flat rate shipping and if you're shipping if your order is above 50 dollars then you have free shipping isn't that awesome guys anyway so let's get to designing now here we can create our own design or we can upload our own design i haven't made a design for my label yet so let's go ahead and create one create your own design so guys you can choose to edit one of the six labels or you can choose to edit all of them at once so you can have different labels on here just to test them out or you can make all of them look the same i'm going with edit all the first thing you want to do is import your logo which you have already made on canva so what i'm going to do is just go over to my file where i have it and i'm going to import it here so this is my logo right here i want to take that up a little i'm just going to drag that here that looks fine now you want to remember everything that is supposed to be on your label which is the name of your your um candle which is candles on the run then the next thing you want to add there is the scent so for the scent let's say we have 
gardenia so our scent is gardenia and we can also change the color I like it more green to look you know gardenia -y. so this is our scent gardenia and then you also want to impute your size and your net weight. The net weight, let's say it's 150 gram, which is the size. Then you also want to input where it was made. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the middle where it is boldly written there then i'm going to go ahead and add where it was made so let's say it was made in texas then we're going to drag that to the corner because it is usually in the corner made in texas I reduce that a little because it's too big that looks fine some people like to go as far as listing out the scents that they have on their label so you can go ahead and list out what scents you have on your label but make sure that you have your candle label at the base of your candle and make sure that all your information which is supposed to be on your candle label is there like where it was made the name of the product the scent and the net weight these are very important for your labels so if i'm going to leave my label just as is i'm going to take this 150 milligram out of here because it looks too off And I'm just going to leave gardenia in the middle. And then I'm going to make made in Texas black. Then I'm going to add my net weight. which is 150 gram and I'm going to bring that to the bottom as well right so guys this is our label nicely done and it looks okay not so bad not so great but you get the idea you can always play around with it add some shapes add some text and you can also use their own templates if you would like to use their own templates you can choose your own template and then after you're done just go on to next continue I approve my design save save to your account name your project and you know sign in or create your account either sign in or create your account and then you just go over to print or download so guys that's it basically you can view what it looks like as a PDF 
this is how the label would look when it's ready i mean i should have added like a square or a circle to make it more fun you know just try do whatever you can play around with it they have nice templates that you can try on so guys this is basically all you need to make your own logos and labels and if you still feel like it is difficult for you to do after this don't worry i have linked someone in the description below just contact him he's amazing bargain with him come to an amicable price and do your thing i wish you the best with your logos and labels make sure to take your time when creating your logos and your labels because they tell a lot about your company and your brand so you don't want it to look tacky so take your time good luck guys be sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.